Welcome to the Academy of Photography. Today I am going to test the Canon extenders. I'm going to show them to you in a second in detail. The reason for me doing that is because I wanted to extend the focal length of my lens. I have a 70 to 200, probably you already know that. And I thought, why should I go and buy a uh, longer lens, like a 400? I always wanted to have a very long telephoto lens, like 400, 500, 600 or above, if I can buy the Canon extenders. That means if I put an extender on a, on a lens, I should be able to increase the focal length. So I should be able to shoot from a longer distance. Now, I've got two extenders today, 1.4 and two times. Actually, I'm going to look through the specs right now. So this is a Canon extender EF 1.4X. That means my focal length which is going to be extended times 1.4. I am going to test only the maximum limit, which is the 200 millimeters. That means if I put an extender on a 200 millimeters focal length, that should give me 200 times 1.4. So I'm going to end up with a focal length of 280. For the Canon extender 2X, that means times 2, that I will end up with a focal length of 400. Now, a professional lens L series from Canon, and I'm sure Nikon is the same thing. If you get a 2.8 uh, 400 meters, 400 millimeters, you should be um, spending a lot of money. So this is, looks like the cheap version of having access to a 400 millimeter lens. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to test two cameras. One is the 70D with a crop sensor 1.6. That means the camera is actually giving me a longer focal length than the full frame sensor. The 5D has the full frame sensor. For a full frame sensor, the 200 millimeter focal length means actually 200 millimeter, but of uh, 1.6 on a um, crop sensor camera, 200 millimeter, it's meaning actually a little bit more. I'm gonna use the same again, 200 times 1.6, that means 320 so if you really want to go telephoto if you want to really shoot from a distance a crop sensor will be better now depends what you want what you after so exercise for today Canon 70D at 200 millimeters without an extender with an extender 1.4 X and with the extender 2 X and in comparison I'm gonna use my full frame sensor camera again without the extender with the 1.4 X and 2 X I've been told that uh, this should do the trick, so if you are traveling and you don't want to carry too many lenses, the extenders are a good idea. However, I know a lot of people who are very disappointed with them and they told me they are gonna, um, they told me the result comes with a drop in quality. Both extenders will actually limit the aperture, so if the lens is 2.8, once you put the extender, the lens is gonna decrease the aperture. We'll put it to the test and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we come up with. Before I go any further, I would like to mention the fact that these extenders do not fit on any lens. I thought without doing the research, if I use it on a 100mm macro, I'm gonna end it up with 200mm. It didn't happen, so all, both of them, they fit only on my 70 to 200 lens. So if you are intending to uh, use it for, let's say, a 50mm lens to get it to 100, that's not gonna happen. So I need you to be mindful of that before you buy. For today's exercise, I have chosen a, the local bowling club because I need a bit of distance and I'm going to shoot some signs. I'm going to show you uh, the distance. We are talking about at least 50 meters. I'm going to show you a pan just to have an idea about how much space I have. So there's a fair bit of space, 50 to 60 meters at least. I'm gonna do, I am going to do the aperture priority because I wanted to use the 2.8 uh, aperture. I know the extenders, they're gonna limit my, uh, they're gonna limit my aperture, they're gonna decrease it, so I'm, I'm gonna test it. I'm lucky it's a lot of light, so um, time is one thousandth of a second, aperture 2.8 and ISO 100, I'm gonna take a shot. 
Okay, this is it. I'm gonna mount the extender now. Just mounted a 1.4X. Let's see where we go. Obviously closer. My extender limited my aperture to 0.4, so I can't shoot 2.8 anymore. I'm going to mount the 2.x now. There we go, even closer. So my aperture is limited to 5.6. The time decreased is 640, still safe, but the aperture definitely is 5.6. So uh, there's a limit there, you have to pay attention because with these extenders, you're gonna lose aperture. If you wanna shoot wildlife, I would assume you're gonna shoot during the day. You should be fine, but if you wanna go and uh, shoot in the dusk or low light situations, this is actually limiting. So 5.6 maximum aperture, time still safe, 500, more than good. So I'm gonna take the shot now. This is it for the uh, crop sensor camera. I'm gonna mount my 5D Mark II. Definitely, if you wanna go the distance, a crop sensor is doing a better job than a full frame sensor. Okay, that's about it. I'm gonna go to the studio, I'm gonna go to the computer and compare the images. Okay, first part of the experiment is done. What I want to test now is actually the quality and the sharpness. Uh, I was told that the extenders come with a drop in quality, not only in aperture, but with a drop on quality. So I intend to test that. So how I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use only one camera. I'm going to use my 5D with this lens 70 to 200 without the extender. I'm going to add the extender, the 1.4X uh, extender and the 2X extenders. I'm going to take one shot and I'm going to try to frame roughly the same. Obviously, I'm going to have to move in uh, such a way that the uh, frame will be similar. In addition to that, I'm going to test with my uh, uh, with another lens, which is the 24 to 70, which I trust is the sharper, sharpest lens I have got. So I want to see the difference between the sharpest I can get and the probably the uh, use of the extender 2.x which allegedly has a drop in quality. Let's put that to the test. I'm going to take the shots and I'm going to share them with you in a, in a second. Okay, right on the computer, time for comparison. I've got four images uploaded into to the Canon uh, software that comes with the camera. I don't need another software to do this comparison. I just need to zoom in and look at the details. So first image, 70 to 200, no extenders. All of the images have been taken with the uh, same aperture, same time and same ISO. It doesn't really matter because I have used the same setting. So we should be able to compare apples with apples. So 70 to 200, no extender. I'm gonna have a look on the 200 view zoom and let it buffer for a second. So no extenders here, just uh, the empty lens. Give it a bit of second and now the computer is gonna show us the detail. Okay, this is about it. I'm gonna go for the second camera, uh, second image, sorry. So we'll see the comparison right next to each other. Just for the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna show the focus points on both images. 
okay give it a bit of second and I can see a little bit of loss in detail so I'm not sure if you can see because you're watching a video I'm watching high resolution images on a high resolution screen I definitely see a slight decrease in the quality now I'm gonna go to the third image and open it as well so the zoom is 200 give it a bit of time and looking at the autofocus point as well definitely um, sharpness is almost gone even at a 200 zoom factor now just to make sure I got this right I'm gonna open the fourth image which is 24 to 70 it is a huge difference between the two images so 24 to 70 the sharpest of the sharpest in my opinion and uh, the left one with the Canon 2X extender definitely a drop in quality I don't think the difference between the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200 is that bad however the 70 to 200 is not as sharp as the 24 to 70 so in conclusion there is a compromise here if you want to use the extenders I would uh, say if you don't want to carry too heavy lenses if you're traveling and you're not very fast about quality at this size a Canon extender will do the trick however if you really care about the sharpness probably you go you have to go the distance and invest in a very expensive so I guess the rumors are true so Canon extenders drop in quality I don't think the 1.4 X is that bad but definitely the 2.0 X is worse than I expected okay that's about it for today so in conclusion Canon extenders if you wanna if you wanna use them just for purposes catching a burglar from a distance or catching someone jumping a fence I think they are more than good because if you don't need to if you don't need to zoom in you it will do the job it will save you some money but if you really care about the quality I would say this is not for you you need to go and spend the money to get the right quality thank you for watching leave your comments down below if you have any I hope to see you next time and until that I wish you happy shooting thank you very much For today's uh, Canon Extenders review, uh, the equipment has been provided by Rent-A-Cam in Sydney. Uh, they've got a lot of stuff to rent. If you don't want to purchase anything and you just need uh, one a camera or one lens for one day, you can uh, check up this website. I will place a link down below. So thank you Rent-A-Cam for providing me with the uh, Canon Extenders for review.